Hello everyone, this is Waldorf. And this is Statler. And today we have Battle Report 70. 070. The Kingdom of Equitaine versus the Sylvan Elves. Yes, and they're pretty colorful. Pretty colorful emblem. Emblem, yes. Pretty colorful. It's pretty colorful. Or pretty and colorful. <laughs> yes, that too. Um, uh, I don't know why they call it the Sylvan Elves, because this army I played had not a single elf in it. It was a Sylvan Forest. It was a Sylvan Forest <laughs> army. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, here's my list. Um, same list I've been using lately. This is what shamanism is my lore. And I've switched over completely to the virtue of the... Uh, to favor the king, the five up uh, versus strength five. So it's actually different because it's the first time we have um, shamanism. Is it? I believe so. I tried it early and I switched off of uh, it and then finally come back to it, I think. Divination earlier, yeah. Yep. Um, so I tried divination and I even tried druidism. Yeah, dudism. Once or twice. You lose, um, lose too many dudes with dudism. <laughs> So I deployed first, deployed my entire army. This is the, uh, my opponent picked sides. I chose, deployed first. This is the one where it can deploy up to I think 15 inches in. This was a pickup game or is that your, no, this is a, your little tournament? This is that a little one day tournament. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's just kind of a game. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is the one where I can deploy forward on the edges and back in the center and okay. he's forward in the center back on the edges right um i want to go first because i want a chance to drop rocks on stuff right before it moves so i went ahead and deployed my whole thing that way i get a roll off and i'm still fairly still fairly okay with that um so. but we have for terrain we've got a hill in the back top left uh-huh uh moving a little bit forward there's a building with a wall okay uh, water feature. This is his forest that he gets to place as a sylvan elf. Right. Uh, field back here in the top right. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this? A forest oh, down the, the forest. bottom left. Uh, a little a piece, section. A of, piece of a fence. A piece of a fence. <laughs> I passed it. Yeah, yeah, and a hill on the bottom right. <laughs> yeah. I passed out everyone. I said, "Here, take set up the terrain for me. Here's what I want. You know, I want a fence section on each hill. I mean, on each table." But I intended them to be the matching ones together, <laughs> yeah. not two separate little pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, I didn't notice that until I started playing. I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. It works. And his army? His army is the Sylvan Elves. You can see, let's go back. There's another picture that's a better picture of them. It's kind of hard to tell with his army because they're all these trees. Um, yeah. But he has a, two treemen, two, two normal tree treemen, three fathers. Okay. With an eagle perched behind one. Okay. You kind of see the separation of the bases there a uh -huh. little bit. A unit of uh, this is dryads, dryads. I'm guessing with a filler. With a the, everything has a unit filler. Yeah. But this is dryads with a branch maiden. Branch wraith. Branch wraith, with a level two, you know, casting two spells. Uh, this is the ancient tree father. The ancient. Okay. The ancient. The big. Which is the caster one? The big gribbly guy. No, he was not the. Sorry. Whatever the big one is, with that's not the caster. What is he called? Oh, okay. You know what he is? Yes. Okay. Avatar of nature. Ah, that's what he is. This is the <laughs> yeah. avatar of nature. Okay. And his is kind of a big dragon thing. He'd been better off taking the dragon. On a tree. <laughs> okay. Um, then there is a unit of treekin, or sorry, what are they now? Branch wraiths. No, um, branch wraiths on the other side. Yeah, the. Uh, yeah, the tree, uh, tree folk or whatever. They okay, so <laughs> the big monstrous infantry guys, and then another unit of the dry guys, and then somewhere I think it's behind this unit is another eagle. Okay, so we've got two eagles, There's two eagles, two units of dryads with two dryad ma matriarchs. Yep. And oh, sorry, the tree, tree kin or whatever you want to call these guys have a regular have a BSB. And okay. another hero in this unit. Okay, so two characters and two characters. He so took the strength of, five upgrade. Do you know? He did. Okay. So a total of one, two, three, four, five characters, I guess, because this is a character, right? The big thing. Yes. The Avatar of Nature. Yes, it is. So he's got five characters. Well, the uh, matriarchs are pretty cheap. Correct. Um, well, even the uh, tree folk characters are not very much because you can't buy magic items for them. So. Ah. Okay. So they don't end up stacking. Yeah. Um, my 
setup over here on the left you can see the small unit of knights of the realm peg knights behind them in the forest who are going to vanguard out <laughs> my yeoman okay uh this big unit has one two characters in it uh the front left character front left model in this is the guy with the virtue of the joust and the dragon lance Mm -hmm. and the BSBs in this unit, and okay. the mage, okay. the damsel, mm -hmm. and my general over here in this unit, okay. the virtue of renown, and five knights aspirant. So, and there's a bigger picture of his guys. You can now see these guys a little bit better. Yeah. Where is that other eagle? Must be back here. Unless he's just hiding right now. No, there he is. He's hiding behind this big Yeah, I see a thing. wing poking out there, yeah. Yeah, there's something poking out there. <laughs> yeah. You can see the corner of the base there. Anyway. So, turn one. I move forward a little bit. Don't want to get within charge range, but if he wants to come up. He has nothing really ranged to come at me with, so I'm happy just to stay back, force him into coming close, making the, you know, committing while I drop rocks on him. Uh, and here we go. Both fire. One misses. The other one thumps. The tree men on the end for four points. Four points of damage. Oh, so he's counting down. Okay. Uh, that's what he's taken. He's taken. Four. Okay. So he's got one left. So he's got one left. Correct. Um, I put break. The, got to break the spirit off on the big ancient guy, Avatar of Nature, just to keep him march moving slow. Yeah. And I got off, I, and I when <laughs> this is the odd thing. When I came to this tournament, I realized I did not bring a forty millimeter base monster for my uh, shamanism spell. Ah, uh, you. So I had to borrow. <laughs> so you got you got a totemic summons. So off. I got a totemic summons off, and this guy popped in back here. Okay. Um, and there we go. So turn one for him. You can see there there comes the first sacrificial eagle moving forward. Other than that, you can just see his wounded tree father mm -hmm. coming over here. Tree mother, really. Based on yes. The model. <laughs> but anyway, elsewhere, just kind of moves up slowly. Mm -hmm. um, again, doesn't want to get going, double charged. or Going whatever. in the woods to be, protect himself. And he's in the woods to help him protect himself and to help him cast, I think. Right? Doesn't that give you a bonus? Uh, just not for casting, just for your... Uh, um, we call it channeling. A channeling. Okay. But he gets uh, he gets uh, bonuses for fighting in in woods. Ah, okay. I don't want to fight him in the woods. So we're moving on to turn two. Um, on the top left, you can see my this guy has he he managed to get a wound back. Okay. So he's up to he's got two wounds left on him now. So druidism on the uh, on the matriarchs. Correct. Okay. Yeah, the open throne spells. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I've charged into here. Uh, hoping to put the two wounds on him right on the charge and get rid of him the yeoman came into the side of the eagle because I just didn't want to tie up a unit with it and I didn't want that thing left free mm -hmm. um, there's a very blurry picture of the I guess the peg knights moving off the left to support and started throwing rocks at this guy mm -hmm. and managed to put three wounds on the that's avatar three. of nature that's a three okay <laughs> So trebuchets are actually hitting this game, which is pretty huh. impressive. Yeah, it's always nice when they hit. Uh, the knights came in, did a wound. Ah. Brought him back up to, despite, and this is with the, the spell right there to the right, is the, uh, what is it? A, I don't know, I can't awaken, read it. Anyway, the one that gives you plus one strength, the base. Oh, okay. So I bumped their so strength. strength seven and you only got one so wound. So strength seven, I only got one wound through. Oh, that's uh, bad luck. Yeah, not good luck. Um... <laughs> Elsewhere, you can see the Totemic Summons is marched up pretty far. Mm -hmm. And these guys, I think, did absolutely nothing to the eagle. I think we did nothing to each other. So on his turn, his tree father, this one, the tree father that was here, charged into the flank of my yeoman. His other eagle came up for chaff, and his entire battle line came forward. Nope. Okay. Um, that's a clearer picture. It looks better. And so, um, 
And of course, he got another wound back yeah. during his casting. And I'm not sure what that's about. Stone is. skin. Stone skin on his uh, unit of dryads. They're the ones in the middle. <laughs> uh, that's a real blur, but it's backed up to two. Yeah. What it is, he's got back down to two. He's healed a wound on. Okay, so he's getting his spells off. He's getting spells off. Because they're, I mean, he's got two chances to get the stupid little oak and thrown off. And that, you know, cast on a four. Yeah. And all he's got to do is get one spell off to get a wound. Right. Um, but anyway, so he gets the wounds back on each one of them, which puts him in good shape. Um, he, what did he cast on me? Cast one of his, I don't know what that would have been. Anyway. They have the spores on the uh, dryads for shooting? Yes, he had a shooting attack with the dryads. I don't, anyway. I'm not sure they were within 12. Anyway, mm. so over here, it's kind of, I missed the picture on it. You can see where his wound was, where he actually killed my unit. He got another wound. He's back up to four wounds. Killed my unit, overran, into the ran them down into the peg knights. That's not There's so There's all good. three of them there, but yeah, overran into them. Um, he still got one wound left. Over here, he, the, eagle, the eagle killed three. And then the other guy popped. Uh, actually, they only killed three. Eagle can't kill three. Sorry. He totally he killed a total of three. Okay. And I fled. Um, the big guy has the rank. So I had to flee from them. From the angle, it looked like he could actually get there with this guy because it looks like he couldn't wheel past the building. He could. He was The way he was set, he was originally like right here. Yeah. And he came past the building, wheel, hit me, and then wheels back. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. It just looked like it was too far over. Not that he couldn't hit you, just uh, he looked like it was too right. far over. But anyway, so based on where I was running, which was going to be over in this direction where this eagle ended up, the tree father decided not to pursue. Yeah, probably a wise move. Um, so he sits back there. This eagle came here and caught my um, yeoman, mm -hmm. crushed him. And there you have it. So that's what it's looking like. Going into turn three. Yep. So, I'm Bretonians and I'm sorry, I am Equitane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Equitane's all about heroes, right? So, my general of the army charges out into this guy. Okay. Uh, because I can't get past this with this guy's here. Uh huh. With the mounted, the whatever these guys, aspirants. Aspirants, right. Unless they charge, this block can't get past the eagle. Mm hmm. Right. So, Discharged my general out here. Over here, the jousting, I'm sorry, the uh, virtue of, buh, 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 I am not thinking of it. The guy with the flame, the dragon lance and the virtue of might. Might. Charged out into the, whatever this thing is, avatar, avatar nature. nature. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's we're all about heroes. Let's do the hero thing. Yeah, that, that's one way to look at it. Right? Um, well, the other thing which I'm looking at, I'm like, I do this, even if this guy gets up, you know, they both make it, they're both out of arc of this. Right. The only thing he's got to support is the Dryads. Mm -hmm. And they have the um, Totemic Summons is like four inches back of them. So I figure if Totemic Summons comes in, hits them, oh, so they're we'll, we'll tie him up for a round. Okay. Right. And because he's only got, what, a three, three Dryads that can hit me. Four, uh, maybe. 50, so, so four. So four, call it four, which is eight attacks. Eight attacks, and you're yeah. tough as five. I'm tough five, so I don't think he's going to kill me, and I'm unbreakable, so yeah. anyway, so it'll tie him up yeah. at least for his round is yeah, what I'm looking make, at. That makes sense. So, um, there we go. Bing, bing. And everybody made it. And, and your the two guys made it, it was pretty sure. There help yeah. people out just in case. Correct. And, you, and then... You can tell he doesn't have a lot of shooting. Yeah, he has no shooting because I'm not worried. Yes, yeah. roaming around. This will show it even further. Um, where's the other? I haven't finished moving at this point. There we go. <laughs> the damsel came out as well. Yeah. I uh, just checked the arc. She's just out of arc of this eagle. Okay. So she's floating out there. The only thing I've got really dangerous is if this guy blows through them yep. and just turns and looks at her. Yeah. But yeah. if he does, I'll run and I can easily get through these and find a nice spot to land. Yeah, you gotta worry about your battle standard bear too. Oh, from this guy? Yeah. Battle standard bear's got a one-up armor. He <laughs> doesn't care. Yeah. And a great weapon. Yeah. Oh, he's got the great weapon. He's, he's, I've given yeah. the, I don't know if you noticed, I gave him the questing vow. Okay. 
and great weapon with the hardened shield. Yeah, yeah. yeah that helps. Uh, so, but anyway, so there we have it. And you, like I said, you can't see it in the back, but the uh, Totemic Summons, summons, summons back, yeah. is squeezed in there. So, whoops. We gave, um, for spells this round, I gave Savage Fury to the to the um, Pegasus Peg Knights. So they each have, so it's basically three attacks each from Peg Pegasus and two attacks each from the guys. Okay. Um, I was just trying to, I was actually just at that point trying to burn his dice. Right. Um, which, it worked and they won that combat. Yeah. <laughs> Killed nice. it. Um, because it wasn't the first round of combat and, you know, he didn't flee so I didn't have to pursue either. Right. So best of both worlds with that spell. And besides, if I got a spell off, I'm shamanism. Um and this guy i gave the uh, plus one strength to the sort of the uh, virtue of might character okay so now he's coming in at even higher strength so strength seven uh strength eight i believe because he has glorious charge thunderous charge oh yes thunderous that's right. charge which makes him correct six, so, seven, eight, so you're so you're wounding on twos so i'm wounding thumping in good and i did yeah yeah crushed him um over here the general was a little disappointing he only got off one of the uh the lethal strikes and only did three wounds to this monstrosity. Yeah. But three way wounds, he's halfway there, right? I think he's got five, right? Five, yeah. So getting close to killing him. Didn't take anything back from any of my characters. You can also see the aspirants, I forgot to mention, have come up to yeah. the fence. We measured so that, you know, both units are in my front. Um, I won't get the fence bonus if this unit charges me, but I will versus this one. Yeah. I also put break the spirit on this unit, so if they do charge, that's a lot of dangerous terrain checks on ones and twos. Mm -hmm. um, Not as much as it would be on the dryads. <laughs> the... No, but I'm more worried about these guys. Yeah, and I want damage on them more than the dryads. Sure, sure. Dryads are only strength what? Strength four. Yes. Yeah, I'm, can deal with dryads. Um, so. There you have that. The three wounds there. And you shift it over. And shift it over further just to be sure. And did the <laughs> stupid rule thing. Corner to corner. Corner to corner. And then we're moving into... Now you reformed with your uh, with your Richard Might guy. So it looks like he was trying to chaff up the other unit of Dryads. No, this unit has the Totemic Summons guy in the back of it. Okay. So they're not going anywhere. And he lasted this round of combat. Right. I reformed so I have the flank of the tree kin. Okay. And yeah, he's not going to want this guy in the tree kin. The multi yeah. Right. This is the, this guy's ideal against multi wound. Yes, yes. Okay. He's trying to keep him off the multi, you know. He's not happy about that. So what happened? I forgot about because I can't see him. What what happened with the Totemic Summons guy again? Uh, he's right here. He's yeah. actually right there. He what charged it. Oh, I think he did a wound. Or two, okay. and he did one or two back to me. Okay. Um, so I'm just stuck. Yeah. We did a couple wounds each. He did reform to get me into his front because he figures if he's going to kill it on his after the you know after the combat. So he's facing to the back. Now of the he's table? facing to the back, but he'll just because all he can do is kill it anyway and turn back around. Right. Right. But um, on his turn, even if he loses the combat, he'll. Probably have enough make to make it. Yeah, back and, he sh and he so shouldn't he lose. So yeah. Um. So the big, big nesting bird charges. <laughs> yes. Charges. I'm not sure how he's getting to you because he's looking pretty sedentary. <laughs> he's kind of fat too. I have to say. <laughs> he's a big fat. There's a lot of meat on that bird. <laughs> exactly. I'm good eating. Um. So he did that elsewhere. The Treekin guys turned to face. Uh, just in case the, uh, he reformed, he reformed a face to the so left. Three wide with one in the back. Three wide like. with one in the back. Okay. And the dryads have charged in. Okay. Um, there you have that. And I think that uh, you can see the eagle also hop down here. Yeah, a little closer to really block this one unit because mm -hmm. that's the unit that he's afraid of getting to this. I don't think. I mean. I think he's willing to let this guy go in, but not with help from a lance. Yeah, well, the other lance can get there, right? Depending on how far it is. Nah, that's that's pretty far. And this okay. one, I believe, is in his front as well. But it's pretty far. Anyway, turn four. 
Um, there we go. It's a better overall picture. They, may, they might be able to make it, but it's a big roll. Um, he only did three wounds to my trebuchet, by the way, on the left. With his big bird. Uh, well, Sorry. he's only got two Sorry. attacks. Two wounds? No, two attacks and a stomp, doesn't he? Yeah, well, that's all he's got. So yeah, he did three. He can't kill it. No, he can't kill it, But I, and I made my check for the you're, first one. You're within six inches still, looks like, of the... Uh... Yep, of Lance. the knights. So you get their leadership. So I do. Um, that was that. You can see that we've another round of combat. Looks was, like he killed the totemic summons. I, he killed the totemic summons and turned to face this guy. Yeah. The uh, dragon lance guy. Mm -hmm. um, elsewhere, this guy, did it expose the tree flank? father. Yes, he did. <laughs> okay. The tree father, he was worried about this. He was real worried about this guy and where they were going. These the dryads had charged, didn't do a single wound, but one because of static combat because res. Of static combat res. Um, he elected not to chase me, and he's turned now to face this way for some reason. He thinks somehow thinks this guy might blow through, and he wants to be facing in the huh. correct direction. Um, he's got two characters that can challenge you off. Correct, and be steadfast. But yeah. I think he's. I think he's just banking. Well, he's stubborn on this. as long as he's got a character in there. So I think he's just banking on this care this unit. You know, he's hedging his bet in case this unit makes right, it Right, right. I'm guessing. Okay. Um, elsewhere, that's where it is. And, you know, in the next turn, the eagle managed... I don't know if he... I think he probably only did a wound or two to me, but it was enough to break me on this turn. This is on your turn now or his turn? This is on... This was... This was his turn. This is my turn. This is the end of his turn. This is my top of my turn. So on his turn, his... Uh... His tree father is still there, and your general is still there fighting. I have not managed to kill him. Okay. Another round, I could not roll a six and finish him off. Okay. Or if I did, he saved it with the, with his um, ward save. Ward save. Other um, worldly save. Yes, I'm yeah. not sure which it was. Okay. But on my turn, the and there, I don't think there's a picture of it. Oops, went the wrong way. I don't think there's a picture of it. The lance on the left charges into the flank of that dryad unit. Okay. You can you see get, him up you get, there. You got the excited at this point. Yeah, I did. I got excited. The camera's I mixed, shaking and blurry. You can and... see I've mixed the picture. The, the cameras. The general is the, the BSB came in to help the general. Yeah, uses great weapon. And between the two of them, and they polished off wound, the yeah. tree father. I forgot he has multi wound. He does, doesn't he? Yep. I did not use that. Oh, oh that would have helped <laughs> in more than one occasion. Oh. Um, so anyway, and that lance wept through those guys, hit this, them on the flank. It did. The BSB tried to overrun because he wanted to get into this fight with this unit, uh -huh. but rolled like a, th a two, one, oh, okay. and a one or something, and barely crept yeah. forward. Um, the light virtue of might charged into here, killed off his hero. You can see the guy missing from the back. Yeah, I, he he uh, challenged, so I had to take it. He didn't want that guy just chopping away at everybody. Peg knights have have hopped over into the middle of the field. I've just, you know, this bird can eat my trebuchets, so I'm okay with that. And at this point, yeah, you can't stop. It I could have, I mean, I could have dedicated these guys to deal with it, but I don't think it's worth it. Wouldn't work because he's a flyer too. He just fly over you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's a rule they should probably make: is that is flyers can chaff up other flyers. Flyers can block chaff. Yeah, block so you, flyers. You yes. can't fly over flyer units. Would be a nice rule. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that. And there's the overall picture going there. His turn, his eagle down the bottom left is charged into the other trebuchet. And these dryads have reformed to get to, <laughs> to be able to face the threats coming out here. Okay. But that's about all they've done. And your character is surviving and his my, strength five and strength with my one up rerollable save. Attacks, I challenged on the second. Well protected. I challenged. Okay, so now you're fighting his BSB. So now I'm fighting his BSB only. Yeah. So he's just whacking away at me ineffectually. Okay, and you win. He, he probably still lost, but I not. I think I lost this fight. I must have. There's no wounds, so there's no static wounds combat rest. Yes. He would have it. He has a banner, yes. So banner I'm losing, a, but my a second rank. that's my BSB right here with a yeah. 12, so, so, so you roll the lead or something. Yeah. Um, but anyway, stick there. And there's the overall picture.
creature there. So coming into my turn. He's got some spells on his guys. Um, I th- Yes, I do. I've got the... I think the break the spirit is on these. Okay. And I keep bumping his... I believe I'm bumping his strength. Okay, so get him up to strength five. So he can at least fight a little bit. So he can fight a little bit. And he's yeah. letting these go because, you know, the other ones... I mean, he's letting the strength one go because, yeah, that's the least of his worries at this point. Mm. Um, there's a guy nesting in the corner. Yep, yeah, nesting in his new tree. In the <laughs> new wooden Nest tree. made out of uh, trebuchet parts. And that's the oaken throne sitting on those guys. Yep. Um, so, scarification. Where'd she go? This is the scarification for her. I don't know where she is, but... Anyway, so Waken the Beast on my... Waken the Beast on this, the uh, Virtue of Might. Right. Who's just sitting there chopping away. So you're... The, the general of the army... What we're missing here, so... <laughs> the, the general of the army so has charged on, in. On the right, is that's the... Uh, that's the tree again. Tree again. So, so the... Uh, Pegasus have swooped around to the flank. Correct. You went forward with your one group of knights. This other group of knights is running away from the other dryads, it looks like. Correct. And you sent your... Oh, here we go. That and you sent, your, picture. you sent your These, general in to help out. Correct. This unit reformed and moved over this way. Um, this unit... The objective of this game is breakthrough, so you have to have a scoring unit in your opponent's right. zone. So this unit is just heading out of town to get back there. Yeah. Um, it is turn five, so I have one more turn after oh, this. I said say, because I'd rather use the other one, but it's too far back. Right. Um, How come he didn't send your BSB in to help out with the fight? I, he was facing... He was not... Not facing the right yeah, way. Yeah, he was okay. facing the wrong. Since he tried to overrun and failed I see. into the other okay. unit, he couldn't make it. So he just swung around, get, gets within 12 of everybody hanging out. Um, I believe the damsel is somewhere down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Still. Um, but again, my, the uh, general comes in to help out there. Um, and they chop up a couple of them, but not enough to win. Mm-hmm. Um, he puts a wound on one of my guys. I forgot which one that was. Yeah. Um, there you go. Is your general on the edge so the dryads can get to him? My general is like a millimeter in. Okay. He's not on the edge. Um, so we go on to turn six. And... His dryads don't have a valid target, really. I think they tried to charge this unit back here yeah, yeah. and failed. Mm-hmm. So Probably could have ran. It's a fairly long charge. <laughs> What's that? So you could have ran. Could have ran, yes. Um, so the bot. I'm sorry, that was the bottom of five. Top of six on my turn. The, uh, mm-hmm. the peg knights come into the flank of this unit to finish right. it off. The unit up here and the, the other unit of knights in, in the realm are just getting zone. into his deployment zone. The only thing I'm concerned is if these guys, if this Dryad unit makes a march test or whatever, they can get into my deployment zone. Luckily, here in the center, it's I'm only nine inches in, so he's got a ways to go. But yeah, I'm, but the way that uh, I'm concerned with him. Other unit in. is he'd have to come out a bit, and it'd be hard for him to. Yeah, he'd probably be in line of sight even of these knights, even though they kind of turned in the weird direction. Um. So. But yeah. But. We ended it by crushing the unit of Treekin because uh, the BSB did come into that one and I did not use the multi wound. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I elected not to run overrun with the Peg Knights. Uh huh. I'm not sure why. I think they were in the front. Doesn't look like it though. I'm not sure why they didn't overrun as well. Anyway. Um, huh. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't go. I'm very confused what's happening here. Oh, the unit of Treekin were here, out there right. in front of the Peg Knights. Got that. Um, we crushed them out. Okay. With the with the so Peg the Knights, the, the peg three knights. characters killed the unit. They fled. Uh huh. Um, they ran this way, so we all three, my three characters, all three okay. pursued. Because it looks like you ran sideways and ended up in the front. So that's yeah, they, why it was... they were here, <laughs> and they because this these guys were in their flight. Right. Okay. Oh, that's what it was. These guys were in the flank, and because of the weird order, because he had a character still left, mm-hmm. because of the weird order where the character had to stay in contact with my two characters, mm-hmm. he had to remove the other unit. The unit had to remove all but this guy, which took these out of the combat. I see. So the overrun would have been directly forward, which just barely misses these. I see. Okay. That's what the reason they didn't know an overrun. I'm okay. wondering why that, looking at it now. Um, but anyway... So the three characters... Oh, so we actually fail in a stubborn. 
he failed on his stubborn. Actually, the yeah. character was the only one left. Okay. So I don't think he was stubborn. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but again, the, he took it, gave another wound to my uh, Dragonlance guy. Right. Who also <laughs> failed an overrun of about six inches. Oh, so he's not even in the He's combat. not in this combat with the other guys. But it's good enough. We go in and do enough wounds that he loses the combat. Um, there you go. Should have got rid of the other picture, basically. Yeah, there you go. Smashing them. Look at that. Heroes. Mm -hmm. It's all about heroes. Yeah, it's an army of heroes. <laughs> but, oops, there we go. And um, But that's where it ended. I killed a couple of these guys. They stood... Then his round, he swung away and did nothing. Right. Um, so he's got this unit of dryads and the eagle left. I've got the objective and most of my army left. Right. The only thing I lost were, oh, I forgot to mention, the only thing I lost were the knight's aspirant who did not rally. Oh, okay. And just continued off the board. That's some bad luck. So. And I haven't seen the mage in the... Like three turns. I think she may have miscast and blown herself up. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because she hasn't shown up at all. Yeah. And she would have shown up in this picture. Yes. Yes. She miscast and blew herself up. Okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. What were you trying to cast it? You put that many dice to blow her up. I don't remember. I think I was using four dice for something. Uh, which apparently is not a good idea. <laughs> the um well, as long as she's by herself, it's not as bad as if she was in the unit. Yeah, but I, I got, I rolled, I'm pretty sure I rolled four dice and then I got a four on the, the thing, so it popped me up to 16. Right. And she took half wounds for that and then took, you know, she took two, took three hits from the strength four and they both wounded. Mm -hmm. And two of the three wounded and then she had one wound left and took multiples from that other roll. Right. So. She didn't go down the hole, but she took damage enough to go away. Yeah. And couldn't manage to make board saves. And, you know, they are only strength four. That is true. Um, but anyway, so that's where it ended. Like I said, he has the unit of dryads. And the other one, I have three of my four characters. And, you know, three of my four units mm -hmm. left. I, I don't have the yeoman. Correct. But it was great. I got the secondary objective. It was a 20-0 win. Was really happy. So you start off your little mini tourney on a on a high note. Correct, and this you know you'll see a couple things in this tournament. There, I mean, if I don't, I'm not sure who I played of, of stuff. People that are getting things ready for a tournament. So anyway, it was kind of a practice tournament. We weren't strict on painting or anything like that. Oh, okay. Um. Anyway, and that's going to do it. Okay. So a great victory for the Kingdom of Equitaine. There we go. And it's heroes. All about the heroes. It is against Sylvan Elves, which does bring a bit of a tear to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no elves, so no, you don't have to worry That's about true. it. That's true. It's two armies that should never fight. <laughs> yes. Based on the old uh, based on the old histories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember all the doubles games we played when we played yes, them together. Yes, it was awesome. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Well, that history will all be gone now. <laughs> I think they, they still have something going on. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening. Till next time.